It pains me so much to say it, but rest in peace, summer 2014. I'm Quinn of Snazzy Labs, and I'm showing you what I'm taking back to school. Backpacks are a necessary evil. At least that's what I think. While they're very functional at allowing us to tote stuff from point A to point B, they all look the same, and none of them look that cool. That is until now. This backpack comes from a company called Solid Gray from the Netherlands, and they make a backpack that makes people ask me every day, what the heck is that? It's kind of a futuristic mix between Stormtrooper, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, who knows what. Now, I'm not going to go into too much detail on the backpack because a review will be coming in the next couple of days. However, this is something that absolutely turns head and is really rather functional with its copolymer rigid construction, and I just love it. That being said, the good stuff is on the inside. As you can see, the backpack has a lot of space for textbooks and all sorts of stuff. This year, I made the change. I am 100% ebook textbook, and I'll get into that in a minute. But the pen that I use and love with all of my heart are these pens from Tool. I think they're actually like a rebranded Office Max pen. I don't know. They're pretty expensive, but I love them to death, and they write amazingly. Now, since I'm going all digital, I don't have any notebooks, so I have a couple loose pieces of paper just in case I need to jot something down. My MacBook and my iPad can easily go a whole school day without being charged. My phone, however, especially during testing times where I'm in the library, sometimes doesn't make it, so I've got a couple backup cables. Now, my headphones for walking around campus and studying those late nights in the library are from a company called Accidentally Extraordinary. These are the Studio 51 headphones, and they sound a dream. Now, version two of these headphones is coming out really soon, so this version is actually currently unavailable, but I love these headphones to death. They've boosted the Philips Uptown out of my number one position, and I like them even better than the Audio-Technica ATH M50s. So you're definitely going to have to see the review on these in the next couple of weeks. No, your eyes do not fail you. That actually is a Barnes & Noble Nook. Now, you may be thinking, why do you still have that? I love my Nook. It's not so much that I love the Nook itself, but I love e-ink readers because you can read books. It's not fatiguing to the eyes. It's not a bright screen. It's perfect. I love it, and I won't be replacing this anytime soon. Textbooks, however, are a different story. They are far more complicated. I need to highlight and make notes on top of them. There are graphs, all that kind of stuff. And so for that, I need to use an iPad. Now, surprisingly enough, all of my college textbooks are available on an e-reader format this year, which is pretty awesome. And that allows me to use my favorite app for reading PDFs, PDF Reader Pro. Now, I think it's currently available on sale in the App Store for $5, which is great. Because unlike a real paper textbook, there are a lot of power user functions. You can search for a specific line or topic rather than having to go to the index. You can highlight, you can mark up stuff, you can draw on top of it. It's just, I love this app so much. And I love the fact that many textbooks are available on PDFs for significantly cheaper than the real version. This is actually my first semester having gone all digital. So leave a comment below as to if you use digital textbooks or if you've stuck to the good old cardboard and paper. Unfortunately, one of the textbooks that I use, it has a DRM digital format, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, I have to download the official Kindle app to use it, which is a bit of a downside. I may end up buying just the regular paper textbook. Now, this is my 11-inch MacBook Air, and I love it to death. Now, many will quickly say that it has inferior processing speed and resolution to the MacBook Pro, and I know. But I love this uh, computer because it's so thin, it's so light, it has a full-size keyboard, and it is perfect for college. Perfect for taking notes, for doing quick web browsing. I, I, I love it. I love it. Now, the real struggle has been finding a worthy note-taking app for Mac, and I've settled with Ulysses. Now, it's not actually designed for note-takers, it's designed for writers, and it's pretty expensive at $45, but I've stuck with Ulysses for a number of reasons. Its organization tools are great, and it has a really powerful search, which is great at the end of the semester when you have to reference through 80 pages of notes. Furthermore, it supports Markdown, which I just love to death. If you don't know what Markdown is, please check it out. It will change your life. Hopefully some of the stuff I mentioned you can actually implement into your own school workflow. Please leave a comment below with your college setup, what you're bringing to school. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment, and as always, stay snazzy.